Do you know seven early signs of a toxic partner? My name is Elena Semenek and I'm a psychologist and a therapist and this is my YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness. Today we're talking about seven red flags that you might be dealing with a toxic dynamic. Let's start. Number one, excessive jealousy. If your partner becomes overly possessive, constantly questioning your whereabouts or isolating you from friends and family, it's time to take notice. Healthy relationships are built on trust, respect, and not control. Number two, controlling behavior. Controlling behavior goes hand in hand with jealousy. If your partner tries to dictate what you wear, where you go, who you talk to, this is a big red flag. Remember, each person in a relationship should have the space and be an individual. Number three is frequent criticism. If your partner criticizes you a lot, if it becomes unhealthy and you feel like you're under pressure, then this is a red flag. Constructive criticism is healthy, but if you feel that you have to defend yourself every time, if you feel that your self-esteem goes down, then this is not a healthy dynamic. Number four is emotional manipulation. If your partner likes to play with your feelings and with your fears, if he likes to play with your emotions, if he's trying to use guilt as a method of getting what they want, then this is not healthy. Remember, healthy relationship is always about open communication and being able to be who you are, being able to express yourself, and this includes your emotions and feelings. Number five is lack of accountability. If your partner blames you or other people in every problem that happens in life, then this is the sign of immaturity and lack of accountability. If a person is saying that this is not my fault, this is somebody A, B, C, D, then this is a big red flag. Before we're gonna discuss two last signs of a toxic dynamic, let me introduce the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. Is something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goal? Then consider contacting BetterHelp. If you have clinical mental health issues like depression or anxiety, or if you're just human like me and maybe you're having some difficulty or challenging situation at home or at work, then consider therapy. Therapy can give you tools to approach your life in a very different way. That's why I encourage you to check out our today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. And this is important, especially if you are limited to the therapist only in your area. And the therapist in your area might not be qualified for the problem that you are dealing with. BetterHelp is an online program which makes easy to find a therapist in any area of expertise. Just by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. It is very easy to sign up. Just click the link below the video or go to www.betterhelp, which is H-E-L-P, help.com slash psychology of happiness and you immediately receive 10% off for your first month. This way you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. Finding a therapist is kind of like dating. If you don't fit with your therapist, if you don't click with your therapist, then you can just request a new one and it will be free for you. This way you don't have to worry about your insurance policy or stressing about some extra fees. So if you are struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Again, it is BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash psychology of happiness. And one more time, thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Sign number six is isolating from support. If your partner tries to minimize your time with your friends and family, if your partner is judging them or trying to diminish their participation in your life, then this is the sign that he's trying to control not only you, 
but your life and the amount of time you spend with your relatives and your friends. And your relatives and your friends are your support group. So if somebody is trying to take your support away, then this is a sign of a toxic person. And the last sign is unpredictable mood swings. If your partner can easily jump from being happy to being sad, from being satisfied to being angry, if their mood jumps up and down, this creates chaos and anxiety in the relationship. And this relationship cannot last long. At the end, it will ruin your relationship and your mental health. And here you go, seven early signs of a toxic person. Remember, being able to recognize those red flags is a first step towards protecting your own well-being and ability to create a healthy and happy relationship in your life. If you recognize any of these signs, it is important to seek for support from your friends, family, or even from a therapist. And if you're considering finding a therapist, I will be happy to work with you. You can find my contact information in the video description. And if you learned something from this video, if it was helpful, please let me know, send me a few words in the comments so I know which red flag was the most important to you, which insight uh, you got through watching this video. And of course, give me a like and share it with your friends and family. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon in my next important video. Bye.